Today we're learning how to do a fancy shine on your logo in Fusion. Let's have a look at what we're making today. We have this little logo and we got a little shine there. Look at that. Oh, so nice. L little, little highlight. That just makes it pop, baby. That's cool. Hi, I'm Casey. I help content creators make amazing things in Fusion. I also have a free Fusion survival guide. It's a free video course. It's available in the description below. Let's jump into some shininess. So let's take a step back here. Look at our node graph. So we're starting with this kind of blue background. This is just a background with the type set to gradient and the gradient type is radial. And we have this light blue and dark blue makes this nice background. Then we take our logo, which is this little explore logo, kind of nice. Add a little drop shadow to it. Do a little transform, kind of zooms it out like this. And there we have it over our background. But it's always nice to have a little sweep of light that kind of goes across things. There's a lot of different ways to do this. I think probably the most simple way is just to use a color correction node. And so let's just do this maybe before the shadow. Just grab a color corrector node and drop this on here. And then we can mask this with something like a ellipse. I'll just put that into the mask. And let's make this ellipse skinny and maybe change the angle a little bit, something like that. And now whatever we do for our color correction is only gonna happen inside of that ellipse. So if I push up the gain like this, we're gonna have this brighter only within that ellipse. Very cool. I usually like to desaturate that a little bit and then maybe take this ellipse and push up the soft edge just a touch. So now we have this little slash of light across our logo. Now we can take this ellipse and we can animate it just by moving it back and forth like this. And it looks pretty sweet. So we're just gonna start over here at you know frame 10 maybe. And I'll just add a keyframe to our center like that and then move that over, I don't know, 20 frames or so. And then just move it across the logo like that. So now in between, it'll animate whoosh, like that. So easy, check this out. So now we have that cool little shine and it goes across our whole logo. But let's say we wanna kick this up just a little bit. Let's say we wanna give a little bit of dimension to this shine and have different elements kind of shine at different times. Well, we can do this a few different ways. If you have this in layers, like if you're bringing in a Photoshop or you have the layers split out into, you know, different PNGs or something, then you could just color correct each layer and animate them at different times. Even if you don't, you can still do something like mask this color corrector even more by, I'll just take this ellipse off here for a minute and we'll add a polygon mask and we can just zoom in and we can just select the part that we want to be affected by our shine. It takes a little bit of tracing if you don't have the layers broke out, but that's okay. It's not too bad for just a still image. There we go. I'll select this and hit Shift L for linear, and I can hold Control and kind of adjust these little handles. Move this around, make sure that it's how we like it. For this specific thing, it's not going to matter a whole lot if it isn't like perfectly accurate because it happens so fast. It's such a subtle effect, but you know, do your due diligence, make things look a little nicer and we'll call that good enough, okay? So we have our rocket ship outlined and we can take our ellipse and put that into our polygon. Let's rename these. This will be the rocket mask. This will be the shine sweep mask. And if I select the rocket mask, anytime that you select a second mask, like the one that a mask is already going into, you can decide how the masks interact with this little paint mode thing right here, where it says merge, let's just say subtract. And what that'll do is that will put this mask in everywhere where this mask isn't. So if I were to bring up this mask in our viewer, we'll see it's kind of cutting out this second mask from the first mask. If I hit invert, then it's only gonna happen inside of the mask. Pretty cool, right? So we can kind of decide where we want this shine to be by adjusting how our masks interact with each other. So I'll bring up our media out again. And so now we just have this shine going across the rocket ship. Very cool. But let's have the shine go across the rocket ship and then kind of across the background. Okay, give it a little bit of, I guess it's sort of like parallax. I don't know. I'll just take this whole thing and copy, double click off and paste it like this. I can hold shift and grab this color corrector and drop it on here like this. So we have two different color correctors and this rocket mask, instead of inverting it this time, we're going to just have it regular. And so now if we put these both together, it's gonna shine the whole logo until we take this shine sweep mask one, which we'll call this mask background. And then this one we'll call foreground, let's say. I can take this background and open up our keyframes panel. And here we have our different masks and let's just take this background mask and we'll select both of these and move them down a little bit like this so that that just happens a little bit later. Push this down even more. So we have a more obvious thing happening here. So we have the shine on our 
rocket and then the shine on our background gives a little bit of dimension to things. Now let's play this back. Yeah, so it does one and then the other. And so you can kind of split out your logo and offset those shines if you want to, and that can kind of help it feel like it has a little bit more dimension. Very cool. But the basic idea is the same. You make a color corrector and you mask the color corrector and you sweep that mask across the logo. Really simple technique, definitely add some spice to your graphics. Hey, if you're just getting into Fusion, make sure to check out my Fusion Survival Guide. It's a free video course going over my top tips for working in Fusion. I hope you enjoy it. There's a link down in the description and I hope you've enjoyed yourself here because I've enjoyed myself here. Here's where we are, just having a good time together. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Hey, if you have any questions or thoughts on this or any requests for you know, some motion graphics in Fusion, well, why don't you just let me know down in the comments? That's how YouTube is. That's what you do.